So with the active level step push-up, that step push-up can start anywhere from the fourth or fifth step in your house, moving down to the third. Um, chairs are somewhere between the third step and second step. So you're just looking for surfaces that get progressively lower, preparing you for um, a higher level push-up. Most of the women I see have never done a proper push-up, so it's such an exciting thing to teach people to do. So, you know, if you've mastered your wall push-up from beginner, and now you're looking for a height that's going to allow you to execute with a perfect form. So you're wanting to bring in a plank, and a push-up is a plank in motion. So I'm going to demonstrate my uh, push-up from a chair. When you do your push-up, your hands should be one and a half shoulder width apart. So you do a narrow push-up, which is a tricep push-up, is executed with your hands shoulder width or less, but we're going wider. Push-ups are very functional, that we're, you know, heavy doors, pushing, you know, your lawnmower, just pushing your, your grandchildren, lots of pushing happens in life. And you want to ensure that your body's doing it with a good form, that you're not teaching yourself to push. And I see this a lot where people are pushing with their head going forward. So our head stays in line with our body. We practice our hip hinging, getting into the push-up position. Then we step back. Now, before you execute your push-up, just hanging out here should feel relatively easy. Maybe if you're going to scale it, maybe a three or four out of 10. If you're hanging out as you listen to this and you're going, whoa, this already feels pretty intense. This is not the level of push-up you should be at. You should be at at least one step higher, seven or eight inches higher or even more. So from this, you take your breath in at whatever level you're following me with. And as you go down, your arms are leaving your side, but you don't want your upper arms to be any lower than parallel to the surface that you're working from. And again, you're keeping a nice strong plank, breath in, exhale, you're coming down, and then you press into that surface to come back up. Tongue to the roof of your mouth. I see a lot of people who are recovering from postural syndromes that are really painful for them. Um, you know, even like text neck as they call it these days. And they will automatically go into those movement patterns um, even when they're doing something as basic as a push-up. I had a young man and in his 20s and as he was doing his wall push-up, he was saying, Murray, I just can't progress past this because I'm, I get my headaches back. And as he's doing his push-up, his head is doing exactly what it tends to do throughout the day. You want to ensure that, again, just everything's staying in alignment. If you have access to someone to film you with a push-up or any of your exercises, that's a great way, great opportunity to see yourself in motion and to allow you to make corrections in your exercise form. And that's it for the active push-up.